Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for another video. Uh, what the fuck? What the hell was that? We better get out and do some Blu-ray shopping. Some weird shit going on around here today. Speaking of weird shit, last night, about four o'clock in the morning, I got woken up at screams and shouts coming from right next door. Um, a couple of gunshots as well. So I don't know what the fuck was going on, but uh, it's looking a bit weird out here. There's people walking around like they're in a daze. I almost hit a bloke just now, but uh, he had some horrible gooey stuff dropping out of his mouth. So maybe he forgot to floss this morning. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what the hell's going on. So we better get on the road before more weirdos turn up. Let's get over to Westwood Cross. <laughs> Freaking shit, guys. I kid you not, just now, as I was leaving home, uh, last night I parked the car on the main road at the bottom of where I live, um, and there was a space just in front of uh, my car just now. This car pulled up, one car in front, and it started to back into the space. And of course, all the traffic started piling up behind. Uh, there was one car that pulled up right next to me, Obviously it couldn't go anywhere because this car was backing in. All of a sudden there was a loud, massive fucking crash. And I just looked out the side of my window. I mean, the sound, this was massive. This was, God, I've never heard anything like it. And I looked directly outside my window and this fucking glass flying everywhere. This silver Peugeot 206, 207, I think it was, crunched right into the back of this car and it fucking resembled, I don't know, something what Rocky Balboa at the end of fucking Rocky IV after his fight with Drago. My God, the whole front of the car was all crashed up and there was still glass spinning everywhere. Oh my God, and then the cars just pulled off to one side and went over to the road, obviously, to, to exchange all their details. But then I had to back fucking two, three car lengths back to get out of the way of the sodding glass so I could get out. But my God, and there was glass, there was cars going over the glass. There was still glass flying all over the shit. So fucking hell, that was really close. If that car, that silver car, had actually skidded, it probably would have gone into the back of my car. Probably the, the back right-hand side corner I would have lost. So thank, thankful for that. But um, they, they, do, they did seem all right, so... Uh, and they weren't angry, they weren't screaming or shouting at each other, so I think they're probably dazed and shocked. I don't suppose the person in the in the uh, the silver car was maybe paying attention. Let's just hope he wasn't on his fucking mobile phone because he'll be in the fucking shit if he is. They'll probably like send him down for a couple of years. But yeah, I'm thankful that I'm all right, my car's all right, and they're all right. So, um, that was a bit of a shock. Uh, thankfully, it's all over now and we can get back to doing some Blu-ray hunting. So, um, I'll see you in a little while, guys, down at uh, Westwood Cross. Hey, everyone. So, um, I've got down to Westwood Cross now. So, hopefully, we're just going to pop into Sainsbury's and see what they got this week. Um, a couple of jets flew over just now. Uh, and I think I heard a, a, a helicopter... Um, it's been hovering over for like the last five or ten minutes, so uh, I don't know what's going on down here, but um, we'll go and have a look in Sainsbury's and uh, see what new Blu-rays there are this week. crap did you see those soldiers come down from that helicopter fucking hell they meant business didn't they anyway we think they were after the walking dead or something but uh, they disappeared into sainsbury's so i don't know if we're going to run into them when we're in there but um we better go and tread carefully because i don't want to get shot in the fucking head okay guys at the moment at the moment i'm hiding i'm trying not to be seen Shit, I think, I think one of them's coming this way. 
Okay, we managed to escape those bastards and get over to the Blu-ray section. Uh, this is one of the big titles of the week, King Arthur with Charlie Hummond. Um, I'm hoping to pick up the Steelbook in HMV a little bit later on. I've got a, a load coming for the group buy as well. Uh, and also this is the 3D one as well. So that looks pretty good, pretty sweet cover there for £20. Uh, the other big release this week is Baywatch, uh, the extended edition. I think I might, just might buy a bloody 4K Blu-ray Blu player just for Alexander Daddario. <laughs> wow. Okay, what else have we got here? Uh, um, this is the other big title of the week, uh, The Walking Dead season seven so uh, looking forward to season eight starting in a couple of weeks time but uh, this is the big tv title of the week so uh, quite a good series that was a really good series and it's all building up to the the war so we know that shit's coming over here on the uh, the dvd section now uh, and it's the two big titles so we've got the king arthur pretty pretty much the same covers for these both uh, and baywatch although that doesn't say the extended edition on that one uh, and The Walking Dead TV as well. They normally put this around on the TV section, so that's good they put it on the main chart. And also, um, this took my uh, notice there, uh, Bruce Willis and Hayden Christensen, first kill, so that actually looks quite good. Uh, I don't normally pick up DVDs, but I don't know, I might, I might want to pick that one up, just because of the cast on that. Uh, there's also Knights of the Damned as well, so I think that's sort of like in keeping with um, the other one there. Uh, and a hundred degrees below zero. Uh, then that cover is pretty much identical to the day after tomorrow. So I think you're going to expect the same type of thing. But for five pounds, you know, it might be a bit of a laugh watching that. And down here, uh, we got the Beauty and the Beast with the, one of the new Disney covers. So that's a really nice picture of uh, of, of Belle there. I think the Blu-rays themselves will, will be exactly the same. It's just the cover that's different. Okay, so we've got a couple of titles over here on the cheapies. So we've got uh, the uh, both the Star Wars trilogies for £15 each, uh, but they are on DVD. Uh, and also, uh, oh, well, that's quite a good collection. Valgold Hotel, Life of Pi, and uh, Slumdog Millionaire for £5 on DVD. That's pretty good. Okay, we're over at the, uh, the TV section now. Uh, two big titles over here, Designated Survivor with Kiefer Sutherland. I love the show, this was really good and I'm about, uh, about to start watching series 2 in the next week or two, but yeah I really like that series. And also Lethal Weapon, which was re really well done as a conversion to TV, you know, you wouldn't think it would work. Um, but yeah, I really love the show. Oh, and his, ha his hair was never that tidy in the show. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it, mop all over the place. But yeah, I really like that show. Uh, looking forward to the second series of that as well. Now that we're at Sainsbury's, thankfully in one piece with no bite marks um i heard on the radio just now that some of these walking creatures the undead have actually gained access to some military equipment and they've they've started to pilot some of these aircraft so they've nicked a helicopter so we're going to be on the lookout for that hopefully it's nowhere in the area but um because we don't want another incident like we had with the bloody UFOs in Tesco's, do we? <laughs> okay, folks, we're uh, over at Tesco's now, so I'm just going to pop in there and have a look, see if they've got anything new in here this week. I hope they haven't moved all the shit around on the shelves like they did with the other Tesco stores. You know, mixing all the Blu-rays, 4Ks and DVDs in together as well. You ain't going to fucking find anything. So hopefully they've left all their shelves as they are. But we'll go and have a look and uh, we'll see what they've got on the shelves. Okay, so there's only a few little extra titles in here today. So I've noticed this Saw Complete Collection. 
uh, which has got about six or seven films, but it's not going to be a complete collection because of the uh, the jigsaw that's coming out soon. And also down here on DVD, they've got a couple of other multi-packs. Uh, they've got the two Punisher movies. So both on DVD. And all, that's five pounds, that's not bad. And also uh, three of the uh, Insidious uh, movies. I've never seen any of those, so I'm not sure what they're like. I noticed over here on a toy sale, they've got uh, this massive Guardians of the Galaxy uh, figure collection. Uh, I think it's £35, so my god, that's that's really dear for even, you know, reduced half price. But uh, it looks pretty good, it looks pretty sweet. <sighs> Seriously, guys. There is nothing better in life after a walk around when you're really thirsty than an ice cold Diet Coke. Forget water, forget beer, whiskey, all the other kind of shit that's out there. Diet Coke. Diet Coke is where it's at. Such a thirst quencher. Fucking hell, if only I was getting paid for advertising Diet Coke. <laughs> But yeah, oh. oh, I love it. And when I go to Toby's, <coughs> and when I go to Toby's, they do syrups. So you just select your Diet Coke and you can choose like strawberry, cherry, banana, vanilla, chocolate, salt vinegar, blueberry, Fruit Loops. <laughs> I might have exaggerated with a few of those flavours, but you can have your own flavour in the Diet Coke, so really nice. So anyway, enough of that. And now that I'm subtly quenched, uh, there was only a couple of extra titles in there. Uh, they were still putting the um, the Blu-rays and the uh, the DVDs out on shelves, so I couldn't get much footage in there. Um, because they had the trolleys and two women were like, oh, where should we put this? Where should we put that? Does that go next to that? Yeah, but um, thankfully they didn't mix all the titles in. They were as exactly as they were. So the Blu-ray section, the DVD section and so forth. So, But uh, yeah, a couple of those titles uh, were pretty good there. Quite cheap as well. But uh, only DVDs. So uh, people are still grabbing hold of the old DVDs. So we're going to head off now to HMV. Uh, hoping to pick up the King Arthur Steel book. I was tempted to get the 3D one in Sainsbury's, but I thought that's 20 quid. The Steel book's 22.99. I hold off and see if I can get it. I could have ordered it from HMV.com when I ordered all the Blu-rays for all the Steel books for the group buys. Um, but I kind of like going out and doing a bit of shopping and actually finding it on the shelf. But personally, I just like to go and actually have something in my hand for Blu-ray shopping day to show that I've actually got something. What the fuck is all this hand movement shit? All I need now is a glove puppet. You right there, hand? Yeah. Shut the fuck up and go do some shopping. Right, so let's piss off to HMV and uh, have a look, see what they've got down there.
so I just got out of HMV. Uh, did pick up a title, so um, I think that's about it. So we'll head off home now, and I'll show you what I picked up, and um, we'll ask Alexa some shit as well. We haven't asked her any interesting stuff in the last couple of weeks, so I see you at home. Okay, so we're back from the shops. Uh, almost got eaten to death by fucking flesh-eating zombies, so I managed to get away from them bastards. Did pick up a couple of things actually. Um, the first thing that I picked up was in HMV, I think it was, uh, and it was a calendar, next year's calendar, which if you can have a good look at that, it's The Last Jedi. Look at that, a nice picture of Ray there. So this is an 18 month calendar already. Um, it doesn't give anything away, so there's no spoiler pictures. So if I just quickly show you some of those pictures up the top there. So we've got Ray there, Kylo, R2, and then the Stormtrooper, more, and then Captain Fazzy, and then a couple of the new characters and the Praetorian Guard, and then uh, we've got Finn there. BB-8, uh, what's that one? Oh yeah, that's another Praetorian Guard. Uh, and then we've got Poe and even more Praetorian Guards, um, but no Porg. Well, that would, would that be a spoiler? No, it wouldn't, would it? Because we fucking know that he's in it, they're in it anyway. So, and there's a nice little picture up the top there as well. So that's very nice. So that's a, a 2008 calendar. 2008? What the fuck? 2018 calendar. Uh, I'm still using my Rogue One calendar at the moment. We're on September, which is Death Troopers kicking some shit. Right, okay. Uh, and also, I did pick up something today, which was also in HMV. And that is Steelbook 4, King Arthur. Legend of the Sword with Charlie Hammond from uh, um, I was going to say Game of Thrones Sons of Anarchy now it looks to me like that is actually a sticker that 3D so I'm going to unwrap it so I might as well do an unboxing now so bear with me ok so I've got most of the cellophane off so let me just oh that's a very tight snug fit that's what she said Okie dokie, so yeah, as I thought, on the outside there, it's left the 3D sticker. So that's quite good actually, because the last time they put the 3D on there, they actually put the sticker actually on the steelbook itself. So that's a very nice steelbook. So I'm just going to remove the floppy paper J card. Okay, so let's just show you the J card. So there we go. And we've got some special features up the top there. Uh, and all the specifications down the bottom there. And this is, I think, region. Haven't got a clue. Because there's no region logo. So there. <laughs> God, I'm out for the night. So that's that. Now, I'm just going to peel this off because down the bottom here, you've got a ratings, and it's a rating sticker. So let's just rip that off because we don't want that on the steel book. There we go. Right, so there we go. Very nice, so nice matte effect. So there we go, King Arthur and the Legend of the Sword. So no ratings logos down there, no 3D logo on there. And then there's the spine. Uh, you've got the 3D logo up there, but that's okay, that's fine. And then nice picture on the back there. I didn't actually see this film in, in cinema, so I'm looking forward to seeing this. Uh, and I'll see it in 3D as well. So let's just open it up. Digital code. And then whip out the discs and I can show you the inside there's the lovely inside artwork beautiful and then 
two discs. King Arthur Blu-ray. That's quite a plain disc actually. Uh, oh, and then we got the nice 3D disc with some nice artwork. So that's great. Brilliant. So I take it if you only buy the 2D version, you just get the boring artwork. You don't get the beautiful 3D artwork. There we go, Legend of the Sword. So, and as I say, got a digital code for this, which I'll be doing the giveaway for that very soon. So yeah, there we go. So really happy, really happy. There's no dents on it. <laughs> so um, I'll let you know what I think of that. But uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Right, that's it. That's all I picked up today. Uh, so good job we didn't call it a Blu-ray hunting haul because it's only one. So there's only one thing left to do, and it's ask Alexa some shit. Um, we'll ask her some shit about King Arthur. See if she knows anything. Ask Alexa shit. Alexa, wiki King Arthur. King Arthur is a legendary British leader who, according to medieval histories and romances, led the defense of Britain against Saxon invaders in the late 5th and early 6th centuries ad. The details of Arthur's story are mainly composed of folklore and literary invention, and his historical existence is debated and disputed by modern historians. The sparse historical background of Arthur is gleaned from various sources, including the Anne Lees Cambrie, the Historia Britannum, and the writings of Gilders. Arthur's name also occurs in early poetic sources such as the God Odin. Arthur is a central figure in the legends making up the matter of Britain. The legendary Arthur developed as a figure of international interest largely through the popularity of Geoffrey of Monmouth's fanciful and imaginative 12th century Historia Regum Britannia. Oh, thank you Alexa for that insightful bit of information. Alexa, what films has Charlie Hunnam been in? The films that Charlie Hunnam is a star in include The Lost City of Zed, King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, Pacific Rim, Maelstrom, Pacific Rim, and Crimson Peak. Alexa, what is a Praetorian Guard? The term Praetorian Guard has a couple of distinct uses, as a noun, one, a member of the Praetorian Guard, two, the elite bodyguard of a Roman Emperor in ancient Rome. Or oh, something to do with Jedi. Alexa, what is a porg? The term pork has two meanings, as a noun. One, meat from a domestic hog or pig. Two, a legislative appropriation designed to ingratiate legislators with their constituents. Gonna eat you later, mate. Ask Alexa shit. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed that little shopping trip out there. Uh, I think that's about it for this week's shopping trip. Um, not sure what next week's big title is, but I think the week after, or is it the week after that, is Wonder Woman. So we're looking forward to Wonder Woman coming. Oh, before that will be Pirates of the Caribbean, Salazar's Revenge. I still don't like that title. I prefer Dead Man Tell No Tales. It's a proper pirate's title. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. We off? Should we have some roast pork? <laughs>